Hello everyone, this is Model Gamer and welcome to MK Mobile. And guys, in this video, I'm gonna tell you that how you can unlock Netherrealm, the best mode of quest to gain more souls as compared to Outward, and how you can do quests here because in Netherrealm it's hard to do quests with uh, lower fusion characters, especially with gold characters. But I will tell you that how you can do it with the same characters that will not uh, allow you to do the quests. I'm gonna do the quest with the same characters and I will prove you that how you can do that same. So I will suggest you not to skip any part of this video. This video is going to be very useful for all of you. So stay in the video till the end. And so without doing any further delay, let's move on to the quest mode. So first let me tell you that how to unlock Netherrealm. Guys, as soon as you will all the you will do all the quests in the tower number 10. That is the uh, quest number 64 finish him here you can see it is written unlocks tower number 11 so as soon as you do this quest finish him quest number 64 in tower number 10 this portal green portal will appear here and you can just enter to the nether and if you want to unlock the next tower so you will have to unlock the tower number 10 in in uh, outward then only you can unlock this so if you want to know that how to unlock the next tower just tap on any tower here you can see my my tower 13 is unlocked and 14 is locked so if i want to unlock 14 tower number 14 let's just tap on this and here you can see it is written that complete quest 84 house thieves at tower 18 to unlock tower 13 to unlock tower 14 it was quest, quest number 84 okay and right now i am quest number 79 in the tower number 13 that means i'll have to do five more quests to unlock tower number 14 simply this is this is same in the outward as well so you can just tap on any tower and know that how to unlock the next tower and as soon as you do all the quests in tower number 10 up to this quest number 64 you will unlock netherrealm and now let's talk about that how to do quests here and why Netherrealm is better than outward because you get more amount of souls for the same time of quest yes in outward you get only nine souls for one hour quest and but in netherrealm you get starting in starting from tower number 11 you get 10 souls for one hour quest let me show you this yes 10 souls but as soon as you unlock further towers in netherrealm you can get up to 15 and 17 souls from netherrealm as well here you can see from tower number 11 i am getting 10 souls only but 10 souls is better than 9 per hour that means you can get 30 souls per hour but in tower number 15 and in tower number 17 there are few quests where which gives you up to 15 and 17 souls per hour that means up to 45 to 51 souls per hour because you can do three quests at a time oh my god 51 souls and 45 souls per hour is a lot so please unlock as many towers as you can in netherrealm and I, as soon as i unlock these towers and saw these benefits I, I i decided to make a video on it quickly oh my god did i continue this quest oh shit oh man you are a fool I wanted to show you that how to do quests here because it's hard okay now I'll have to waste my 15 souls man not 15 only 5 because I got back 10 so now let me show you that how to do quests because the same characters let me show you that okay now if I put Johnny boy and even Cassie with 15% bonus it's just 54% chance of succeeding uh, the quest and you can't take risk because after one hour it might be fail and you can lose your renown as well here you can see it is renown 65 percent and you also get rewards after it gets 200 percent renown you might get a gold character you might get some coins and some equipment some equipments and also souls 30 to 50 souls after 100 percent renown but once any of your quests fail I mean you lose all your renown and uh, even also it wastes your time whether you put a one hour quest or eight hour quest that will be so annoying 
12 hour quest one day quest if it fails it is so annoying so you want to be 100 percent assured that your quest will be successful as soon as you put it so uh, you could see that here i put my strongest characters and cassie cage with 50 percent bonus as well and if i put my sonia girl as well here it goes 100 percent because that is the reason because let me show you that why this goes 100 percent because she is using health boost equipments and once i remove these equipments it decreased down to 77 percent so that is what i want to, what i wanted to demonstrate you guys now i'm gonna i'm gonna do this fill this up to 100 percent without cassie cage and only fusion 9 smoke and fusion 7 hanzo sassy how let me show you how guys this equipment gives me 33 percent max health boost and these epic gears boost your character's abilities a lot so if you have epic gears just give those epic gears to the character whom you are going to put on the quest or max health boost gears this will boost your character's abilities and you can easily do quests on him here you can see i have given Carlos guidance which is this gear is just made for quests you can see 8.5 percent increase quest load boost 8.5 percent shorter quest duration so this gear is just made for quests and as soon as you go do quests in nether and outward you can max out this gear you get Carlos guidance from the quest as you can see i have fusion 7 Carlos guidance right now so these gears boost your character's abilities and that is what i wanted to show you guys you could see here i mean if i put my strongest characters there with even with bonus character cassie cage and they all have higher fusions as compared to smoke and hands or sassy but though but they don't don't fill up this completely but if i put smoke and hands or sassy with some gears only two characters fill this up to 100 percent so give them um, max health boost gears as many as you have or you can give them some epic gears and they will fill up this up to 100 percent and you can easily do quests in netherrealm and guys believe me here you get more amount of souls in outward for eight hour quest you get only 15 souls but here you can get 25 27 and 30 up uh, 30 souls as well for eight hour quest okay for one day quest you get only 35 in outward but here you can get 45 to 50 souls in netherland and as soon as you unlock up to tower number 18 you will be just uh, collecting a lot of souls from netherland as i told you in tower number 15 and tower number 17 you can get up to 15 to 17 souls for one hour quest so unlock these towers as quickly as you can and i'm also grinding the quest and also doing the quest to unlock the tower all these tower 15 and 17 first and in tower number 18 i don't i think that you can get more souls as well so try this technique and do quests in netherrealm i will suggest you to do quests in netherrealm more as compared to outworld you can see i do two one hour quests in netherrealm and one one hour quest in outward because i'll have to unlock till tower number 15 and 17 for more one hour quests i think i have one one hour quest in tower number 12 no there is no one hour quest in tower number 12 and that's why i'm uh, grinding up to i'm i'm thinking to unlock tower number 14 and tower number 13 completely so that i can get few more one hour quests so that i can get a lot of souls so if you do quests in netherrealm you get huge amount of souls and i have told you that how to unlock netherrealm please do it quickly and uh, gain a lot of souls and if you have any doubt any question regarding this just simply ask in the comments and if you like this information hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for a few more con i mean a lot of such contents i'll keep on uploading tutorial videos uh, boss fights and everything make sure to subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching this video till the end see you in the next video guys bye bye